Welcome to Matzo Bricks. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build red and white lights in your Lego trains that change their uh, color uh, automatically or manually when the train changes direction. So you have white lights on the front, red lights on the back. And we will do that without using any soldering iron, just using Lego parts or compatible. So let's have a look how this works. Uh, I've built that in this passenger train here. It's the ice train that uh, was available from Lego a couple of years ago. We've got a front loco and we've got a rear loco. Uh, here the lights are white and there the lights are, wet, uh, are red. Um, if I change the lights, it's vice versa, you see that, and the train automatically does that when it changes direction. So, how are we going to do this? Let's have a look inside. Um, I'm taking the front part off, and here you can see how this is basically going to work. You, we've got a set of normal standard lego power functions lights which are here connected to an s brick but i'm going to explain that in a couple of minutes and we've got another set of lights which is here in the original part from lego and you can see that when i switch the lights around now we've got white lights here in the front and you see that it's it's just another pair of Lego power function slide here that we've also built into the train. That's what it looks like when I've activated both lights. The cables go to the back and here we've got our famous S-brake. The S-brake has a very strong advantage over the old Lego infrared receiver here because it has not just two, but four ports. And that's exactly what we need. We need one port for the motor anyways, and then we've got two or even three ports free for lights. So um, uh, on the two of these three available ports, I've connected the lights, and I would have even one port left for interior lighting or something else that I wanna do, so you've got even more possibilities that I've actually used here. And the rest is pretty easy. You just need a Matzo train controller for Bluetooth, which is nothing else than uh, an ESP32 with our Matzo train controller firmware, of course. And that's basically what you need. And then you can control your lights via the functions buttons in Rockrail or uh, as soon as Ray will have finished the development on that, the lights are going to switch uh, to white or red automatically when the train is going in a certain direction. Yeah. So, uh, that's about it. Um, pretty easily to build. Uh, I hope that is something that you are interested in building. Uh, it really values up your layout, especially when you uh, operate it uh, in the dark during night. Uh, it's it's uh, really nice to see. Uh, I, hope, I, I hope you liked it. Um, if you want to stay up to date in terms of Lego train automation, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We've got also a Facebook profile and an Instagram channel. Um, in the end, I'm uh, going to show some scenes from the train operations on our layout that we built this year. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.